welcome back to another edition of the Cocktail Guy at Home. I really hope you've been enjoying these recipes. They are designed to be super simple and easily replicable using everyday household equipment and ingredients that most of you will find lying around your home. Now, if you are watching this on my Instagram, please do pop across to my YouTube channel. The handle is exactly the same. It's the underscore cocktail guy. Don't forget that underscore. Please do switch on those notifications by tapping that bell and don't forget to subscribe. If you have been watching those videos, I hope you have been enjoying them. If you have any questions, please don't forget to comment below. Today, I thought I would make for you a Cosmopolitan or a riff on a Cosmo, which I've called the Kitchen Cosmo, as it does use, as the name would suggest, everyday ingredients that you guys have in your kitchen. Now, if you haven't got any citron vodka, which traditionally goes into a Cosmopolitan or any orange liqueur, fret not, because we are going to be making our own. All you're going to need for this video, equipment wise, is a mason jar, or a couple of mason jars or jam jars. I've said this in all of my videos, you don't need expensive equipment. You can use you know, these bad boys or some takeaway containers. I know most of you have some takeaway containers at home. Uh, you're going to need a peeler to peel those citrus fruits, uh, a juicer to juice the fruits, um, otherwise knife, other basic equipment, a couple of infusion bottles just to filter your infusion afterwards coffee filter or a pour over coffee pot as I've used before in previous videos. Uh, in terms of ingredients, you're going to need some vodka, you're going to need some water, some sugar, uh, you're going to need some lemon to infuse your lemon vodka to make your homemade lemon vodka. You're going to need some oranges, two in fact, you're going to need one for juicing and the zest of two, as well as some additional water and sugar. But without going into too much detail, I think we should crack on with these infusions first. So the first one we're going to be making is our citron vodka. Now, as I've said, if you don't have citron vodka at home, fret not. I'm going to show you how to make it here. If you don't know and you do want to buy a citron vodka, I'm going to pop a link below the video. Scroll down, have a look, and I'll send you a link so you guys can buy your own. It can be delivered to your house in a couple of days. Um, so what you're going to need is a jam jar. Now, in here, we are going to zest two lemons. Quickly zest these and we just need the zest. Obviously keep the fruits. You can juice these later for another cocktail. One there. And the second lemon. Now we're going to extract all of these oils and make sure these fruits are obviously washed beforehand. There we go. And we're going to chuck these into our jam jar or mason jar or a takeaway container, it doesn't matter. There we go. Now we're going to cover that with vodka. So there's two lemons in there, or the zest of two lemons. I'm going to cover it with about 250 mils of vodka. Now this is more than 250 because we're also going to be needing some for our liqueur. Yeah, perfect, there we go. All right. Make sure you use a sealable container. And as always, as I've said before, just shake it a little bit to encourage that infusion. There we go. The glass has almost came off then. Great. All right, set it aside. Now, when I made this drink, I infused mine overnight. I did it just before I went to bed and the next morning it tasted absolutely beautiful and fresh. Don't infuse it for too long. Otherwise, you'll not only will you extract those fresh lemony oils, but it will just it'll infuse for too long and it will start to taste a bit gnarly. So just leave it to infuse, I'd say, overnight. If you do have a water bath or a sous vide or a vacuum pack machine and you, you'd like to be a little bit more uh, elaborate with the way that you make your infusions, um, I would suggest infusing it in a water bath at around 45 to 50 degrees for no more than about 45 minutes. Don't hit that temperature too high. You don't want to burn off of those flavours. Um, so there we have it. Set it aside. Do it the night before. Come back to it. Tomorrow, if you're making this uh, a, a drink uh, straight away, uh, but leave it overnight. Filter it through a coffee filter, rebottle it. Then you have a beautifully fresh lemon vodka or citron vodka. There we have it. Okay. The next product we're going to be making is our orange liqueur. Traditionally, obviously Cointreau or Grand Marnier or an alternative orange liqueur in a cosmopolitan. Uh, this one we're going to be making is it's right here. In fact, um, this is one I made earlier. Um, <coughs> Again, a jam jar or a mason jar. Again, make sure it's sealable, and again, make sure your fruit is washed. We are gonna be using uh, two oranges. The first thing I need to do before I cut it is zest it. We are gonna be using the zest of two oranges, the juice of one. 
So if you like your fresh orange juice in the morning, make sure you keep your oranges aside to juice later on. So just like the lemons, squeeze those oils into your jar or your takeaway container. Make sure they all go in, pack them down nicely. Obviously make sure your hands are washed. Okay. So this liqueur has several processes. The first of which we're gonna do is cover these zests with vodka. Now I'm gonna be making a liqueur. The vodka that I'm using is 40% ABV. Uh, I want to reduce that to around about 20%. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna cover these orange zests with approximately 150 grams of vodka. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the juice of one orange. There we go. Approximately 60 mils or two ounces. In that goes, seal it, and again give it a good shake to encourage that infusion. Now, obviously, the liqueur's got sugar in it. We're not going to be adding the sugar at this stage. We're going to be adding it after the infusion. So give it a good shake. Set it to one side. Do it the night before, like the citron vodka, and then filter it the next day. What you need to do then is filter it through a coffee filter. Make sure you remove all those additional bits of the zest that have broken off over the infusing. Uh, filter it, you should end up with a slightly cloudy but beautifully rich, fruity orange water at this point, or orange vodka at this point. Uh, and then we're going to reduce it with water to reduce the ABV from 40% to around about 20%. And then we're going to be adding the sugar. And then when we're mixing that sugar, you end up with this beautiful, rich, velvety, gorgeous, fresh, fruity orange liqueur. It works fantastic, not just in this Cosmo Riff, but also in a, I guess like a champagne cocktail, you can use an orange liqueur, or even in a, an alternative whiskey cocktail. Works amazing. So, put these aside. So we've already infused our citron vodka, we've already infused our orange liqueur. Now let's make the cocktail. So the first thing I'm going to be doing, grabbing my shaker. I've got some citron vodka here. Here's one I made earlier. Be adding 45 mils. And an ounce and a half. My orange liqueur. Can be adding 30 mils or one ounce. There we go. Next, I'm going to be adding approximately 50 mils, so half a lime of juice. Now I'm going to freestyle this because I've just been using the juicer for the orange. There we go. In it goes. Almost all of it. Amazing. There we go. Great stuff. Uh, cranberry juice. 30 mils. Great stuff. And then the last little ingredient is another kitchen home hack. Yeah, this is my tarragon and grapefruit bitters. Now this is your shop bought grapefruit bitters. I'm gonna pop the link below to show you where I get them from. Uh, this has just been infused overnight, just like the vodka and the liqueur. This one has been infused with tarragon, so it's a, a fresh tarragon and grapefruit bitters. I'm gonna add two dashes. Perfect. I just think that really lifts the drink. So we've got our citron vodka, we've got our orange liqueur, both homemade. We've also got our homemade tarragon and grapefruit bitters. Splash of lime juice and cranberry. I'm going to be adding some ice and then give that a good shake. Perfect. 
straight into a martini glass. Oh, looks beautiful. My kind of colour drink that. Yeah. Okay, so we've used lime, so if you wish you can garnish this cocktail with a wedge of lime. I'm however going to garnish it with a zest of orange, just to kind of lift the aromatics a bit more. Around the rim, and as I said before, on the stem, so the aromatics of the zest kind of lifts onto your fingers. And there we have it. Home hack, Kitchen Cosmo. Super simple, a little bit of time and involvement in this cocktail, but it is delicious and is worth giving it a go. <laughs> it is delicious. It is not my kind of colour drink, but it flavour-wise it really is. Oh, that's great. Okay, there we go, guys. Kitchen Cosmo. Now, if you're a fan of a Cosmopolitan, please do give this a go. If, however, you want to experiment a bit further, there are additional Cosmopolitan recipes available in my book. I'm going to pop the link also below this video. Please do check it out. Um, otherwise, as I've said before, if you are watching these videos on my Instagram or my IGTV, please do pop along to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Switch on that bell so you're aware of any new videos. Leave me any comments if you have any questions. Um, and share some of the recipes, share some of the creations, share and show me the drinks that you guys have been making. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, otherwise, uh, Kitchen Cosmo. Um, yeah, enjoy guys. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Look at that guy. That's a younger me. I think I look younger here now than I do there. Mate. Don't ever peroxide dye your beard. Makes you look older. Look at him. <laughs>